Hey YouTube, Colorado Hunter Hiker here. Welcome to the 13th and final Friday Small Gear and Tips video. For those who don't know, this is the final video of a 13 week series I've been doing where I put up a video on Fridays on small tips and gear for hunting, hiking, and backpacking. And on Mondays I put up a video on essential gear and tips for hunting, hiking, and backpacking. Today's video is going to be a little bit on the long side and information heavy, but I'm hoping to cover a lot of information here. So without further ado, here's the final Friday small gear and tips video. I would say I'm proficient when it comes to hunting, hiking, backpacking, and surviving in the outdoors. However, I'm not so arrogant as to say that I know it all. I am constantly reading, listening, watching, and learning all I can about the outdoors, hiking, backpacking, hunting, and the backcountry. So I thought, for my final small tip video, I would serve my viewers well to direct them to the places I go for my knowledge. While I certainly appreciate the following that I do have, I certainly don't want to say that there aren't others out there that you should go to for more information. After all, we're all in this together. So, these sources fall into three categories. First, educating entertainment. Second, interaction with like-minded individuals. And third, supporting those who support us and what we do. So first, Here's where I go for educating entertainment. For those of you who don't know, this is the Meat Eater um, page. Meat Eater is Stephen Ranella's brainchild here. Um, he's got podcasts, he's got videos, um, which are on Netflix right now, so go check those out. Um, awesome awesome entertainment, awesome um, education. But Steve is a man who could do it all. Um, and I would actually love to have the honor to meet him someday because he's an amazing author. He's an ethical and accomplished hunter. He's a phenomenal cook, or so I've heard and seen. He's a husband, a father, and a brother. He's truly an awesome guy. And he goes on these adventures oftentimes with Ryan Callahan of First Light, the guy on the right here. Um, and he does podcasts um, here. Uh, he did a podcast with Ryan Callahan and Rourke Denver. Um, and uh, Giannis Patelis uh, helps um, uh, direct and, and produce the, the Meat Eater show. Um, awesome, awesome information on here. Uh, Steve cooks up the weirdest things and eats them and tries them. Um, he actually shows you when he makes mistakes and things like that. But the Meat Eater Hunt uh, videos are awesome. The podcasts are entertaining. Um, Steve is a very bright individual. Um, he's an accomplished writer. He's actually written um, one of the things here. I'm gonna slide over here. Um, this is a very valuable book here. Um, and if you're looking for something for someone um, as a gift, I would get one of these. And I'd probably get this one. This is the big game. It's hunting, hunting, butchering, and cooking wild game. This is the big game version. He's also got the small game version. Both great books. Um, very, very, very detailed, very informative. Um, and um, uh, Ryan Callahan helped with it. And uh, Steve wrote... Um, a whole bunch of it so it's a uh, very collective very very detailed um, but awesome Steve also uh, has quite a few books such as the An adventures from the life of American hunter so he is a writer but he is uh, one heck of an outdoorsman and hunter so um, cool guy he hunts with his brothers I think it's awesome he's got an older brother uh, named Danny um, I've got a brother named Danny so I always kind of laughed at that and I'm Matt, so <laughs> I've always laughed that his brothers are Danny and Matt, and I'm Matt and my brother's Danny. So, cool guy. Um, Danny has llamas. I think it's Danny that has llamas. Um, it might be Matt. Um, but, uh, they use those. One of them lives in Alaska. They go up there and hunt all the time. So, really cool, wide variety of stuff. Um, check out their podcasts and their um, videos on Netflix. One of the things... <laughs> Uh, Steve always does on his podcasts is plug Giannis Patelis and his brother 
Um, they have a, a hunt to eat t-shirt company and it is awesome. Um, I can say from experience, um, most awesomely, they have a hunt to eat Colorado license plate shirt. And um, then I've also got the hunt to eat uh, um, uh, deer shirt there, um, or elk shirt. Uh, the cool part about these is they are the next level shirts. All of them are. Um, if you get a t-shirt from Kuyu or from First Light, um, and I think a couple other companies right now, they're going to be from this next level t-shirt. And the shirts themselves are really comfy. Um, as you can see right now, they're running a promotion that you can get free shipping on $75 or more. Get three t-shirts and get free shipping. Um, they've got all kinds of states and things like that. Um, really cool t-shirts. Check them out. Hunt2eat.com. Um, Moving on to someone else that I would really like to meet one of these days, um, just a, a super cool guy, uh, would be Randy Newberg. Um, he has had his share of TV. Um, he's actually a CPA, which I think is awesome. <laughs> so he's educated, um, but he's also really someone that you can't mention conservation and hunting on public lands without talking about Randy Newberg. He has done so much for us and he partners with awesome people. and. He's out there, he's got this uh, show called Fresh Tracks that's awesome. Um, and we'll come back and talk a little bit about Hunt Talk here in just a few. Um, he's partnered with these companies, all great companies, um, awesome places to, uh, to, to get some more information. But he has all kinds of information on YouTube and, and things like that. Super cool guy. Um, public land hunts. He shows you how to do it. He shows you how you can hunt every year regardless of where you are and your financial situation and um, you know not having access to private land. Um, huge public land guy. Um, super cool to watch. Very entertaining. Um, and that leads us into the next entertaining <laughs> group of individuals or the Gritty Bowman. Um, that would be Brian Call and Aaron Snyder. Um, Aaron Snyder works at Kafaru, but he is very intimately um, involved in Gritty Bowman with Brian Call, as well as some others. Um, Brian has made some awesome videos. This one's actually about his wife, um, but he has awesome podcasts and videos and um, just all kinds of information. And he's always learning, um, and he's always, uh, he is a freak of nature. He's in amazing shape, and um, he goes on some of the coolest hunts with uh, people and films them and, and puts them together, and he has uh, great podcasts, um, and I will say that I have used his podcast to drive back and forth to so many long-distance trips, and um while that's awesome and they keep me awake, uh, it's actually kind of a disservice because he puts so much uh, content, video content and um, pictures and short video clips in his podcast. So it's really worth it actually to go watch them on YouTube um, because they're that cool. There's some that you don't need to watch on, on YouTube and you can download them here on any of these on Stitcher or iTunes, um, but they're great. Um, they put up videos, podcasts, and films about hunting and all things hunting. Um, one of the funny things are, that come up are usually Aaron uh, Snyder's Snyderisms, and they're hilarious. And they often, uh, the two of them, stray off topic in the most entertaining ways. But they're truly gritty guys, and the podcasts are entertaining. Um, so check them out for sure. Um, just grittybowman.com. I'm going to put links in the bottom of this description, um, so don't worry about writing them down. You can just scroll down to the description. Um, he has, um, obviously has stuff on here. He has the Snyderism t-shirt, um, which is, is pretty awesome. So it's, it's probably worth $19.99 in entertainment value if nothing else. Um, but Gertie Bowman, uh, actually submits, um, films to the, uh, Full Draw Film Tour too. So we'll get to that too. But, um, great guys, super cool, um, and they're in Colorado now, so, well, Aaron's been in Colorado, but Brian's in uh, Colorado now, which is awesome, so, again, haven't had the pleasure of meeting them, but I hope to change that soon. Um, moving on to uh, something more, entertain more entertainment than education, but definitely entertaining is uh, Aaron Snyder's um, photography. 
was kind of against, um, he was against doing this for sale and things like that because it just can be a nightmare. But as you can see, awesome, awesome pictures. Um, so spend some time. That's just on um, on the Gritty Bowman site at the bottom over on the left. You can, you can click, uh, that's Aaron right there. You can click uh, on the left side on, and click Aaron Snyder Photography and get to him. Aaron Snyder himself is is the definition of outdoorsman. Um, super, super accomplished hunter. Really nice guy. Um, always willing to help. Uh, something that, willing to, to help the next generation or this generation or anyone he wants to ask. Um, I, I don't know when the man sleeps, but he works all the time and he's always answering questions. So. Super cool guy. You can usually get a hold of Aaron at Kafaru or um, through Gritty Billman. Um, he's on Instagram and Facebook um, and, and things like that. So check him out. Moving right along to more uh, education and entertainment, particularly for those who are looking at doing any sort of solo hunting. So if you're going to go out on your own, I'd suggest watching a lot of <laughs> the solo hunter staff uh, or the solo hunter videos um, on staff is uh, Tim Burnett and Remy Warren um, who Remy's a guide he's awesome um, in fact one of my most favorite videos is of him doing a New Zealand hunt um, so check him out um, his guide is just if you go to Remy Warren w-a-r-r-e-n dot com um, He's with Montana Out West Hunt Fitters. Oh, Mana, Montana Out West Outfitters. Sorry about that. Um, for anyone who wants to hunt in the States, if you want to hunt out of state, uh, he does in New Zealand. And he also is teaming up with his buddy in South Africa. So, super cool guy. Check him out for sure. Um, Tim Burnett uh, does some amazing hunts. Uh, mule deer hunt that is just phenomenal. Um, all self filmed. Super cool guy, and as you can see, he's bringing the next generation of hunters in too, so, which we all need to do, or else we're all going to disappear when this generation goes away. Um, Solar Hunter does not have a podcast, but what they do have is they've actually endorsed um, the Gritty Billman podcast as their podcast, and I think that's a really smart move. Um, super, super informative um, podcast, so... Check it out. Um, I'm I'm not just telling you to go there. Other people are, so <laughs> maybe maybe that's worth something. Um, but if you're thinking of doing anything solo, definitely definitely go to um, a solo hunter. It's just s o l o h n t r dot com and check them out. Um, super cool. They're on um, YouTube as well. So cool self filmed hunts. Um, more again entertaining than <laughs> than uh, educational is born and raised outdoors. These guys uh, put out some really cool videos. They've got a blog that they talk to. Um, these guys are just the definition of of outdoors. <laughs> these are some tough guys. Um, again, haven't met them. One of these days, that'd be cool too. But they do everything. Everything you can do outdoors, not just hunting. They're fishing, they're adventuring, they're just hanging out, doing what all of us wish we could do all day, every day. They're just outside. So check them out, bornandraisedoutdoors.com. Um, this next one is both entertaining um, education and interaction with like-minded individuals. So following up uh, number one here and getting to number two, and that's the Full Draw Film Tour. Um, for the first time, I went to this last year, and it is awesome. Um, all kinds of hunters uh, submit films, and then they, you know, select, uh, I think they selected seven last time, maybe. I could be wrong. I'm not good with numbers, so. <laughs> um, but select some really done, well done ones. Um, they give stuff away. It is a great time to go interact with their hunter, other hunters, other like-minded people, but Full Draw Film Tour is definitely worth uh, worth checking out. And it just so happens that the 2017 um, film tour is starting. Um, it actually starts at the end of May in Oregon, and then it makes its way down to Loveland, Colorado, and Denver, Colorado. Um, I will be going to this this year. Um, it's, it's a great time, uh, lots of fun. Super cool um, sponsors. They've got great people there. Um, they donate stuff, and, and you can win it. So 
they gave away a bow last year. I'm pretty sure they're giving away one this year. Could be wrong, but um, that's not the reason to go. Uh, it's just awesome. Um, it is all bow hunting. It's awesome, um, and it's it's entertaining. So um, check them out. So now we're going to move to the interaction with those uh, of a like mind on uh, on the internet. And I'm going to preface this with don't go on here and try to show how much you know. Um, if you do nothing else, just sign up and go read these posts or read and use the search function on all of these places so that you're not putting up new posts that have been answered 15 times. But go read on them. Um, use them as a you know, an encyclopedia and just get the, the information. First place I'd suggest you go is Rockslide. It's R-O-K-S-L-I-D-E. And it is literally the most compared channel to this, um, to this channel, which is, you know, outdoor backpack hunting. Um, they do all kinds of stuff. They have a pro staff um, that has awesome people on it. Um, you'll recognize uh, Aaron Snyder's name on there. They have a forum. Um, they put out a blog and they put out articles and reviews and things like that. They have tips and tactics. Um, Aaron Snyder's got his own corner in here. They've got a store. We'll come back to that in a second. They've got a forum on here that um, is really helpful. And so if you scroll down here, you know, they've got things like talking about backpacks, sleep systems, gear, clothing, footwear, optics, things like that. Um, meat care, specific species hunting, um, just general chit chat, things like that. So definitely check them out. They are a, a wealth of knowledge. They've got classified for those of you looking for things. They've got a classified section here um, that doesn't cost you anything to post on or to search. So it's pretty cool. Um, coming back to the store, um, and I haven't been here for a little bit, so let me take a second here, but, oh, right there. That kill kit right here is what I use, and it is awesome. Um, you can get it with a knife, without a knife, um, the Havilon, Barracuda, or the Peranta. Great kill kit. Um, there's a video showing what's in mine on my channel. Um, obviously you can read here, but... Um, they've done all the work for you, so check them out. Rock Slide's a great place. Um, great guys on there. Uh, go read up. Another good place to read up is actually this Hunt Talk forum, and it is uh, Randy Newberg's uh, forum, and he is very active on there, and the guys on here are really helpful. Um, again, don't get on here and try to tell everyone that you know everything, but... Go on and read. Use it as an encyclopedia. Get all the information you can, can there. Use the search function over here. Um, hopefully that's on the screen. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> A little bit to the right on the screen. Same thing on Rockslide. Use the search function. Um, this next one I do not know as much about as I would like. Um, mostly because I haven't signed up yet. But that doesn't mean you can't do it first. Um, this is elk101.com. They have the University of Elk Hunting. It's an online course that walks you through all kinds of stuff. Um, meat care, um, all kinds of stuff. Hunting, recipes, things like that. Working out, fitness, nutrition, trail cameras, calls, all that stuff. It's all on here. Um, and one of the cool things is you are actually going to be learning from some names that might look familiar. Corey Jacobson is an amazing elk caller, hunter. As you can see, he's not sitting by a, um, by a small elk by any means. Uh, another name you'll recognize here is Randy Newberg. Scrolling down just a little bit, you're going to also see Brian Call. Um, quite a few cool people here. Um, and not to skip over Jason Phelps here, who's the owner of Phelps Calls, as you guys just saw the... New amp calls I got from him, um, super nice guy, definitely customer service oriented, so check those out too, Phelps Calls, um, and uh, I'll put a link in the description to that as well. Um, and <laughs> just a, another good uh, um, source of knowledge here, um, so kind of the first of its kind here, the, the online course, um, but definitely, definitely worth it, so there's Corey with another, another elk there. Um, super cool, um, 
going on to the final category here. I, again, I said this would be long, so for those who are still watching, um, support those who support us. So number one is backcountry hunters and anglers. Um, these guys do amazing things. They have all kinds of fun stuff. They are, you know, they do events, they do giveaways, they are led, uh, lobbying, they are doing all kinds of things to keep our backcountry open, keep our public lands public, keep it uh, so that we can get out there and we can hunt. We don't have to pay to go hunt on private property. They are doing awesome things. So join backcountry hunters and anglers. They are awesome. They have a magazine out. Um, that is is very entertaining and uh, is, is lots of fun to read. Um, it uh, I, I've actually read it um, quite a few times um, and uh, they have all kinds of things uh, that they they do. They're not just hunting land, they actually do water. Um, they want fair chase for uh, things like that. Um, they won't. They don't want um, to shut things down, so it's foot access only. They're looking at all all kinds of management and use of, of public land. So, super cool place. Um, they have awesome, awesome stuff. Um, they put out a, a magazine that's that's entertaining as well. The cool part is they have a chapter for pretty much every state, and yes, they have a Colorado chapter. Um, so. Join, go start being a part of chapters, um, you know, attend one, one of their events, get to know these guys. They are out there fighting for us, so support them in any way we can. Moving on, uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, huge fan of uh, these guys. Again, um, they do amazing work, um, habitat protection, um, you know, bills, legislation, things like that are coming up. They do events, they do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, Super cool organization, good good people there too. So, join them there. Um, another one I would I would definitely suggest is the Theodore Roosevelt Conservation Partnership. Um, huge proponents of access, of um, conservation, of legislation, of using our public lands in in a in a very um, efficient and um, conservative manner, but but not um, not barring access to it so uh, another place I would I would look at and um, recently uh, I've actually joined the Pheasants Forever um, I think they're a super cool organization they they uh, they do amazing things as well and uh, I actually did this right after I got back from hunting um, pheasants in South Dakota super cool um, species to go hunt and um, obviously <laughs> if I had to leave the state to hunt them successfully i've tried to hunt them in colorado and it's just not very easy so um uh, you know we could we could always do more to to bring them back so join donate um do whatever you can um and the last thing i'm going to say is i know you guys have seen me use all kinds of clothing here um but i want to want to show you that first light uh is is very committed to conservation that's not to say that others don't care um, but First Light is very committed to it. Um, in fact, they have this roundup for conservation um, that I would suggest anyone who buys something through them supports them because they support us with great clothing. Um, uh, us generally and hunters, not not me, but <laughs> us hunters. Um, they, they are supporting, as you'll notice, uh, familiar faces here, Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, Pheasants Forever, Theodore Resort Conservation Partnership, and National Wildlife Federation. So. Again, great place to um, go support support a company that is is committed to conservation. They're committed to helping us keep our public lands public and keeping our, our wildlife around. So um, that said, my last little piece of supporting those who support you is I don't care if you are hunting or, or not. If you are fishing or not, buy a fishing license, buy a small games license if you have hunter safety, but buy at least a fishing license. That money um, gets used in a great way, um, and, and I, I can't stress that enough. Even if you aren't going to hunt, at least buy that license um, and, and get out there. If nothing else to give you an excuse to get outside. So um, That is it for this really long <laughs> video. 
And for the, the end of this 13 week series on small gear and tips for hunting, hiking, and backpacking. Like I said, I put, I'll put links to all of these um, in the description below, but if you have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know in the comment section or email me at coloradohunterhiker at gmail.com. Also remember to subscribe if you haven't, uh, the little icon down here somewhere. And uh, to those of you who have, I sincerely thank you. Also remember I put uh, info out on Facebook and Instagram under the handle Colorado Hunter Hiker, all one word. And I've also created a playlist with all of the small gear and tips videos in one place, as well as this whole series in one place. So I'll put that link below as well too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for me. So um, I appreciate you sticking with me and, and walking through this. Um, thanks, guys and gals. Have a great day.